It's the biggest little Kiwi wine shop in the Northern Hemisphere. Tucked away in a corner of London is the New Zealand Wine Cellar. It only opened last year and has come up with creative ways to showcase our tipple. Europe correspondent Emma Keeling went along to her first ever wine garage sale. They don't have garage sales in England, so it's a bit odd to find one on a cold winter's morning in Brixton, especially when you see what's on offer. Last year we had a few altercations with people stealing wines out of other people's cases, so we've got security on hand. <laughs> it seems people will do whatever it takes to get their hands on New Zealand wine. We're second only behind France for premium sales within the UK, so our reputation's up here. I'm surrounded by 1,500 bottles of New Zealand wine from 65 producers, and they're all available to taste at 9 o'clock in the morning. This is all Mel Brown's idea to showcase the diversity of New Zealand wine. Our job is to educate and impart our knowledge about everything that goes far and beyond Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc. Ten years ago, she was working with Kiwi chef Peter Gordon at his Providor's restaurant in London. Customers loved the Kiwi wine, but didn't know where to buy it. I literally um, woke up and thought, I'm going to open a New Zealand wine shop. And did so online first, and then the opportunity arose to be able to get into Pop Brixton. She opened the New Zealand wine cellar after a two-week crowdfunding blitz with support from the Kiwi wine industry. We've been open, yeah, 18 months, so it started with just uh, myself and my sister in my spare bedroom at home with a four-year-old in tow. Now she has three full-time staff plus part-timers. It's giving wineries access to a whole new market. It's given a nice transition for companies to have a contact here in London and break into the market here. Because how else would you break into the market? Finding a distributor, which um, can sometimes be quite testing. But now, thanks to Mel, it's all going down rather well. You've been tasting this morning? My word, I have. <laughs> Hawke's Bay wine, some gorgeous Syrahs. We've just tried some of the beautiful Rieslings from New Zealand. And um, this last one, well, I can't remember what this last one is. That's what you call a satisfied customer. Emma Keeling, One News, London.